Right guys, welcome to Atlas slash Arc, or should I say the Connection Timeout Simulator 2018. After three delays, a countdown, excuse after excuse, and some content creators getting early access, we finally found the game is available to download on Steam. This game was so highly anticipated that the Steam store went offline in multiple countries because of the amount of people trying to buy the game. Now Steam have fixed that and we've been able to download the game, we've been struck by more bad luck and as guessed by most players, the servers are messing up. We're having timeouts all the time, they was throttling logins to try and sort it out, then we had a tweet recently saying they're fixing it, but there's been no news since. A handful of people have been able to play but get timed out after a short period. The funniest thing though, was seen on Summit 1G's stream. I believe he was watching a clip of someone else that found something on the menu. I don't take any credit for this, but I had to show you just in case you haven't seen it you're actually able to access an arc menu from the main menu of Atlas. If you have a controller plugged in, you can go down to exit and you'll see the box highlighted, but then you can go down again, press A, and it loads up an arc menu. I tried it myself and you can actually mess around with the settings for it. There's an option to play a story arc called Ocean, so I set that one and started single player as Ocean is the map name when you try loading into an Atlas server, and it actually takes you to the Atlas character creation screen. Yes, you can change all the character settings, so you can design a character ready to play the game. But if you do, I would take screenshots so that you remember the specific settings, as when you enter the name and click Create Pathfinder, the game will just fatal error. I thought this was quite funny how they have an arc menu on the Atlas game, and how you're actually able to create a character and mess around with the things on the menu. But that's going to end this video, I just wanted to share it with you in case you haven't seen it, and I want to know your thoughts in the comments on this game. Personally, I'm a bit mad how they've said so many things about the release and they haven't followed up with any of it, but I'm really looking forward to play the game when it's fixed. I'm almost at the two hour mark on Steam already, just from trying to load the game, so I'm screwed for a refund if I wanted one. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching.